Mhm. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. I've got some plans today, and we're going to have to find somewhere to do it. But it should be nice and simple. So let's head out. Hmm. Yeah, this way. In today's episode, I want to make a general mob farm. But it's going to be a little bit easier than usual, or at least I hope so, because I should be able to come out into the middle of this ocean here. Uh, this looks good. And if I open up my backpack, which I've got a few things in, I should be able to use building gadgets to make this process very easy. <laughs> so... Let's start things off by grabbing the building gadget out. Oh, <laughs> and let's make a surface. We'll select stone. And how do we do this? Uh, can I do this? I have no idea how to use these things. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just going to have to do a little bit of practicing on how to build with this. But for now, let's uh, let's just do it with <laughs> this manually. Okay, so this is going to be our platform to work off. And I've got some pretty big plans. So in here, I've prepared up a bunch of stuff. And we're going to do four farms together, 10 layers high. That's the plan today. Four mob farms layered 10 high in a sort of pattern diagonally from each other. And we're going to do it in the flushing style. The beauty of these gadgets is, I think I should be able to copy and paste the layers and just go up, 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 up. So it's actually going to, well, in theory, be very, very easy for me to make. So I'm going to plan out the spacing for some of these things, and then we'll see whether or not this copy and paste machine, this building gadget, saves us a bunch of time. Yeah. Okay. I have some platforms now, and I had to go gather a few more bits of stone because I realized this is probably going to use up a lot, and I didn't have that much. But I have copied this area now, and my plan is, I think, to go up two or three. Let me see. Set this to paste mode. Hmm. And can I anchor it? We might have to do this... Uh, slightly manually each time. Confirm. And go one, two in between, and then the third layer. Oh, I don't have, <laughs> hold on. Let's put some more stone in my inventory. What ah Okay, open GUI. One, two, three. Ha ha! <laughs> Let's do this a little bit even fancier. Open GUI, one, two, three. That's four layers. Oh, I need some more stone. This is why I went and gathered it. There we go. Five layers, six layers. Oh, I might need to go a little bit higher. <laughs> one, two, three. Hmm. Let's just confirm that there. And then I might switch it over to copy mode. Ah, the copy is down there. So that means that it can only go up a certain distance away from the copy, I suppose. So let's try something here. If I go like this, yeah, let's go down by one and copy, copy. Yeah, it's copied. <laughs> and now I should be able to continue. So how many layers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why can't I go any higher than that? Interesting. If we copy there and confirm it, when we switch back over to paste mode, why is that there? Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Ooh. I wonder if I can copy those five layers and just stack it on top. Let me do a little bit of fiddling around with coordinates and see if I can make that happen. Okay. I think that's all of it selected. Oops, <laughs> I did not mean to dash just there. Ooh. Let's go a little bit of a copy. And then can I switch over to paste mode and just adjust this up a little? Let's see. 
That way. That way. Like that? Hold on, let me double check this. Down to, it copies the bottom layer, so the bottom layer would be one, two, three. Okay. Oh, it works though, it works. Okay, I'm going to need a bunch more stone. I'm gonna go stand down here and go. Oh. <laughs> Was that it? Was it enough? I had enough. I still got a little bit of stone on me. Okay. So just like that, with really only about 15 minutes of work back and forth, I've managed to set up a 10 stack tall times four area. Okay. Now from here, I want to add a giant roof to it. So let's uh, reset that and my copy clear. Okay. Wonderful. So. As such, we're actually going to go down here and grab this one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to uh, make another one for it. So if I just put this down here, we should be fine. So now what I want to do is make up a bunch of slabs, which I have plenty, plenty to work with here. Actually, I've probably got too much. Let's uh, just do that. Wonderful. And let's go up and make ourselves a roof. Can I get over to the center? Yeah. So for the roof, I'm going to go too higher. What is the height of this? 101, 103, and then this height here. If this comes out across, will this be high enough? It looks like it. Yep. Too higher. Wonderful. Now, can I use the building gadget to continue this line? The biggest thing I don't know how to do with the building gadget is get it down at the right height. <laughs> That's the difficult part. Oh, like that? Yeah. So if I bring this across here and go like that, wonderful. Now I think I'm going to go 15 blocks past there. So if I come out to that, <laughs> this is going to be a damn big roof. And like that. Out to there and 15. <laughs> I'm glad I went and got a bunch more resources. And okay. Does this feel like it's far enough? It might not be on the diagonal. So let's go. Hmm, maybe we just do a giant square. This could be quite easy to do. If I just go like this. Going across and expanding it by 15 each time. Oh my goodness. That is so convenient. Okay. Oh my god, can you imagine how long it would take to place this by hand? <laughs> Finally ran out of materials. But that is so convenient. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It feels like such a worthwhile purchase for building up infrastructure in general, just uh, making farms like this. And also when it comes to building our main base, being able to do all this copying stuff and, and make everything happen so much quicker is really, really nice. Cause sometimes I like the grind and for my vanilla series, I'm actually really happy to get back into that sort of grindiness where I can turn my brain off for a little while and relax while playing. But I don't want to do that in two worlds. So to have this world being super, super easy and convenient. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. So now let's do a thing from this corner. I should be able to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then... I just need to add like one extra little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so satisfying. So satisfying. Look at that. I had enough. <laughs> so now we have a giant roof over top of here. Let me just see whether or not things are looking 
in shade. It does look like it's big enough, but I'll just go down and I'll check these few areas here. Because this is 1.18, it does need to be zero. So let's do that. Firstly though, I'm just going to come down like this. We don't need this big pole in the middle. Now, forgive me if this section is a little bit dark. If things appear to be too dark, I'll try and brighten them in post. But did I just see something fall? I hope not. But let's jump up here and have a look at our light level. Light level zero, light level one out there. So I might have just done it. Those blocks are the very edge of the light level. Did I do it perfectly the first time? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Okay. Yeah, it, it's dark in here. Goodness me. The next thing that I have to do is go through with my droppers. In fact, I can put the copy and paste away and probably the building gadget. And I've got a bunch of these. Now, technically, I should only fill up half of them, I think, because the other ones I need to place in the actual... Uh, world itself rather than in the dispenser. No, I do need to fill them all up. <laughs> I just have to do them in a different order. Okay, this doesn't seem right. Oh, I had one spare because it's my water bucket. So while it's dark, I'm going to go through and I'm going to set up the staggered dispensers and observers in the way that they need to be all the way up to the top. We'll have to organize a little bit of redstone, but that shouldn't be too difficult. And then, yeah, we just make a killing chamber down here. Oh my, this is going to be an absolute beast of a farm. I'm very excited. Let me work in the dark for a little bit by myself, and then I'll get back to you guys. So, since it's dark in here, I just went and crafted a few night vision potions. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully, yes, when I go into free cam, you can now see... Oh, actually, I can check whether or not I did this right. It looks right to me. So I've decided to do the platforms staggering as they go, so that they... Uh, while one is loading up their mobs, the other is flushing them off. So all we really need to do now is come up top, build ourselves a bit of a clock up here, and make sure we have a spot down the bottom here for them to all flow into the middle and perish. <laughs> so I think what I'll do first is make the lower section here and set myself up with some sorting and storage and stuff like that. And then we can go up top, remove this mega torch and start to flush the mobs out with a bit of a clock. This is a pretty cool looking area. That's a big farm. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. All right, let me work on this little collection system and see how I go. I've gathered a couple of spruce drawers and I've got some sender modules and my vacuum module and stuff like that. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, do the thing. I'm going to try and make it so that all the objects go from the vacuum module into a modular router and into the barrel. And then each one of these spruce drawers will go from a modular router pulling out of that barrel, I think. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. But I'll come back in and I'll show if it's working once I'm done. Yeah, oh, this is going together. And it's it's so easy to build with the, uh, with the gadgets that I have. So nice, so, so nice. Let's make a collection system. Okay, I think, I think I have this working. <laughs> so we've got this one here, which has a vacuum module and a sender module that pulls in items, hopefully really quickly. I'm sort of experimenting with these things, but pulls it into this barrel as a buffer. From there, this one has the puller module that is whitelisted for the items that I want. And then these five senders will send those items to their individual drawers. Now, if I had now if I had a draw controller, I could probably send it to that. But it's actually a lot cheaper to make up individual sender modules than it is to make that. The black opal and the chromatic steel. Yeah, that's a bit expensive. So I've done it this way. Still got my mega torch here. And I have a little bit of a pool that should direct them all in there. I think, I think it's right. So the last thing left for me to do, oh, actually I'm missing a hopper for some reason. I think I used one for crafting. I'm just gonna grab a handful just in case because the last thing that we need to do is make ourselves a clock. So with a few things from in here, I should be able to pop out here 
up on top of the roof, and we'll make a clock in the center here. Let's work out where the center is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 17, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the middle. Somewhere around there. Let's check it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, here. Yeah, that looks about right. So, what I can do is actually set up some extra slabs on top of here. I'll put my magnet back on. And it's going to be a little bit offset, but that's fine. In the previous version of Vault Hunters, there was the Gators and Switches mod, which was really convenient for doing stuff like this, but unfortunately, I think it, uh, it didn't work properly with this version. Caused problems. So we're just going to do a good old-fashioned Etho Hopper Clock. Place down a couple of pieces of that, that and that. Place our pistons against there, and a redstone block. Now all I have to do is hook up redstone to this block and it should be good. I think something like this will work. I probably just need to make a couple of repeaters. So a little dip down here. <laughs> I really cut it pretty close with this, but uh, it does still work. I just managed to fit everything in. But we'll have a proper look at it once I've got it all up and running and I'll swallow one of those, uh, those potions. So, uh, repeater, three, four of those, that should be good, and, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm hoping this just works. There will be a little bit of adjusting and working out how to get rid of anything that is extra, because I don't know what else will drop. We might get some witches in there, but they'll probably not burn, so, yeah, there's a few things that we're going to have to work out, but for the time being... It should work well enough with just a little bit of manual maintenance. Oh, it looks like a helipad. So, something like that, and something like this. And now, say I put 32 in there. Let's see how long that takes. It should switch all of those. Yes. Oh, I'm looking at it, so I can actually still see it in the top of my screen. That's good. That seems all right. I might... Uh, I might just go up to 40, just to be safe, a little bit of extra time. And then we'll add this here for uh, down the line. I think that'll allow us to turn it on permanently. Okay, let's go get rid of this. Wait, ooh, wait. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, wait. <laughs> There's one more thing that we need to do. We need to make an AFK spot. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, if down here is 63, maybe I'll go... Mm, how low is the ocean here? Underneath it all. Underneath the middle, it's about 49.50. Okay. Say 50 plus 128 is 150, 178. Let's go for that and see how high it feels. Should be good, though. So, I'm just going to... Uh, I think that's the center. Yeah. That's 150. Mm, yeah. Let's just go 178 just to be safe. A little bit of glass on top. Uh, actually, I'm going to go one higher so that I have a better chance of landing in here without making a fool of myself. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we can remove the pillar, and hopefully this works. Oh my goodness. Fingers crossed, I think I've done everything right. I think the timing on that seems pretty good. We can adjust it a little if it doesn't. Modular routers should pick things up nice and quickly, I believe. <laughs> we shall see. Let's just have a quick look. Any second now this is going to go across. Okay, that's working. Now, <sighs> we remove it. Double check that there's nothing in here in these buffers that are wrong. There is one piece in each of these. Oh, maybe an extra bit of light source. Just to be safe. So, on this little platform, we now have light. Removing the torch and heading up. Oh, come on. It might not be enough. Now, we do have one other person on the server at the moment. It is a little late at night, but... Helene is on. I think she's about to go run a vault, so that might free up spawns in the overworld, but let's have a look-see. 
I see some people. Oh my. Yes. That's doing a thing. That's doing a thing. There's no sound because of where we are. But it looks like it's doing something. Oh yes. Oh yes. That is a lot of mobs. <laughs> and they're spawning. Give me some more. Oh, that is satisfying. Look at them all. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and to be fair, I think this is while Elaine is still in the overworld. There seems to be no one falling too far outside of here. They just seem to be falling just over the edge perfectly and moving down into the middle. I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh, that was like, what, two minutes? Let's go have a look. I want to see this working and hear it working. So. Yep. No spider eyes, though. Maybe they don't drop eyes unless killed by a player. Okay. So, uh, that works. <laughs> Is there anything in the buffer? Arrows. Of course. So, I might do a five minute test. If... There are no spider eyes dropped. Maybe we'll switch it over for arrows. And then we never have to worry about arrows again. Yeah. In fact, how about I do that slightly different? How about instead, for this one, I take the spider eye out and I place that one in instead. And then we open that up, grab it out, put those in there. And we're also going to have to allow that through the puller module. Beautiful. We'll lock that up again. We've got about 90 of each. Okay. I'm literally going to go do a five minute test. It does take two dashes to get up here. See you in five minutes. And five minutes later, I'm excited. Let's see how we went. All the way down. Bunch of mobs spawning. Oh my. And not bad at all. 350, 250, nearly 300. Hold on, let me <laughs> let me just lower that volume a little bit because that is making a noise. A little bit of chicken. I can deal with that. That shouldn't happen very often. Just the occasional drop. Everything else seems to be going just fine. I mean, I mean, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And it should work just fine during the night time too. So, how about I head up top here and since it's night time, I can actually take, well, I don't need to do this because it's night time, but if I take this potion of night vision, we can see perfectly fine and we should be able to go down and have a proper look at this working. The amount of time seems pretty good for them to spawn Gives them a good bit, some extra spawning happening up there and there. So it gives it a couple of rounds of spawns and then it should switch over in just a second. Yep. And it drops even more off. This is a really efficient, really good farm. Look at all of those guys. They tend to align up really nicely. Flowing in there, not too bad. The spiders obviously try and get out, but all the extra mobs will just push them in. <laughs> it's perfect. I kind of want to decorate it now. I'm very glad I did this as four instead of the one. Oh, interesting. Because that way we are getting a really good amount of spawning spaces available. And look at that. All those creepers. Oh my. Being able to use the... Uh, the copy and paste gadget was really, really nice. But in reality, this isn't too difficult to make yourself. Now, I didn't actually follow a, uh, a tutorial or anything. I just know how to make these from following tutorials in the past, I suppose. But uh, I just kind of made it up for the size and scale and made it up for all of this stuff using old knowledge. And I just went out three blocks past the edge of these so that there was plenty of room. Might have even been four, actually four past here yeah. and then just made it work with the water as best i could and i think it worked really well it all seems to flow down nicely there's no spots where it gets stuck and it's a barbecue okay i was wondering whether or not we'd get any witches but it looks like it's pretty rare and i wonder whether that'll despawn 
It's pretty far away, so it should despawn, I would imagine. Oh, look at this thing go. I'm going to have to put some upgrades on those drawers. <laughs> because we're going to fill the 2,000 that we have there very quickly. Cool. Let me put a few of these things away. Also, I accidentally crafted some range up augments, which were a little bit expensive, thinking that that was a, uh, a speed upgrade, but it was not, unfortunately. That is okay. We can head down here. I shouldn't technically have to turn this off. Oh, hello, my friends. Apparently, I haven't slept in a few days. It's all right. This mob farm also just started giving us phantom membrane. <laughs> Go. One more. There we go. So yes, I shouldn't have to turn this off because when we're not in the area, it's not going to be loaded or anything along those lines. Now, excuse the uh, volume for a second because it will be back up. 500. That, that's about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I've made 500, which would be what? Two and a half thousand gunpowder an hour? 10 minutes times six, 3,000 an hour? 3,000 gunpowder an hour plus all of these drops? Okay, nice. So, I should be able to come in here, charge these back up nice and quickly. Beautiful. They both lasted the entire time we were working on that, which was really, really nice. The building gadget can go back there, and the copy-paste gadget can go there. And both of those probably made 20 times faster what I could make. Like, multiplied how fast I could make that by 10 to 20 times. The building gadget, I was doing... Lines of 15, just spamming them as I, uh, ooh, <laughs> as I found where I wanted to put blocks. And now that I think about this, we can put our mega torch back. Oh, hey, bud. <gasps> no. <laughs> I forgot that this has cleave. I should have just waited till the... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Saved you a pet. No more pets. No more. <sighs> well, last thing that I want to do for that whole setup is make myself another few of these. Oh, I actually have a drawer that I can use for that. There we go. And with those five, nah, it's not worth it to make the 16 when I could just make the times eight. Chromatic iron? Oh, wait. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. So those will increase it by eight times the base value, meaning that we can fit 16,000 in each one of those uh, drawers over there. I think that will do. <laughs> I think 16,000 of any of those drops will be more than enough and we can turn the farm off for a good while. So we'll just go like this. Now that should never run out. And uh, yeah, there we go. An Omega mob farm. A really, really good mob farm. <laughs> Back at base now, I've just realized that in my black market, there is something that I want to grab. And I just needed a few extra soul shards for this bad boy. A seal of the confectioner allows me to run a cake vault. Wait, chromatic steel block. That's expensive. Damn. I thought that was cheap for a second. But that's really cool because they cost a little bit. And it means that we can, uh, we can make a cake vault to try out. But with all of that and all of the building of my Omega farm done... Although I think I will decorate it maybe a little bit, we'll see. I don't quite have any ideas yet, and I'd love to hear what you guys think of it first. Do you think it's worth spending a little bit more time there and making it look fancy if it's just a, uh, a once every now and again kind of farm? Or, I don't know, how do you feel? Either way, I think we're going to end the episode here. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You folks are amazing, and I genuinely appreciate it. And everyone who's been watching this series, I hope you're enjoying it. Things move pretty quickly. We are at level 32, and I have been building up a decent supply of a few different things very, very easily. In fact, not only do I have 167 Benny and 149 Volt Diamond, I have nine Knowledge Stars. <laughs> One I got from a black market. Everything else has just been built up over the uh, the last few episodes of me just doing bits and pieces. 
So, we might save that for the start of the next episode. We might get ourselves refined storage and then start aiming towards something like Iron Furnaces or Create. But that could be next episode. So, until the next one, I hope you take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye bye, everyone. Uh, whoop.